everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Kimberly from Beauty by Sewn, and I wanted to show you some simple, goof-proof ways on how to do a smoky eye. I've been doing a lot of smoky eye for holiday parties, going out, meeting friends, and I thought, you know what, smoky eye and how to do them is probably one of the biggest questions I get asked by so many women every day that I meet. And I wanted to show you some of those super easy things that you can do, no matter what your eye shape, these tips and techniques will help you enhance your eye enhance your eye color, as well as make sure that your eyes don't look like little black dark holes and instead look like pretty sultry smoky eyes, even when we're hitting closer to 50. So the first tip is to make sure that you prime your eyelid. And by priming your eyelid, you can use an eye base, you can use a cream shadow, you can even just use a powder. I love using cream shadow. My favorite right now is a Bobbi Brown product. Oops, upside down. Bobbi Brown product and it's a color called Bone. I prime my whole eyelid from lash line to brow all over with my finger. And then I'm obsessed and addicted to this amazing nude finish illuminating powder and the color I'm obsessed with right now. So I have to look because I have like three of them. But right now I'm obsessed with the color Bare because it's a little bit more fair and it's a powder that has a soft illumination and brightening. So I use this in fact all over my face but I love using this as an eye base. It makes my eyelid have a beautiful, soft, smooth, finish. So that combination, I know I've primed my eyelid and I'm set to go. So that's step number one. Step two is find a base color that is either a cool warmish, that doesn't make any sense, does it? Cool warmish, what's cool warmish? For me, that is a neutral brown. So if you have a richer, deeper skin, I definitely want to see you go into something that's more of an espresso, a deep brown color. If you're super fair, I want you to find a really soft gray. I'm today gonna to use this color here, which is called Birch Eyeshadow. I am obsessed with it. My dear friend Cassandra got me into this and she uses this color all the time. So now that I know what my neutral base brownish tone is, I'm now gonna grab and I'm using my angle eyeshadow brush. What you're gonna do is no matter what your eye shape, I want you to look at yourself straight in the mirror and smile. And I want you to start at the top of your arch here, and I want you to blend the color back and forth in the crease. So even if you don't have a lot of crease, you have a really deep crease, even if you're getting a lot of that hangover of the skin, I want you to do this technique. What this is gonna do is it's going to help to create depth in your crease it's gonna help create a natural or enhanced natural definition of your eye shape. Don't worry too much about blending, but you can see it actually is quite easy to blend because what do we have on the eyelid first is that eye base tone. So this is Birch eyeshadow and I'm blending it back and forth with the angled eyeshadow brush. I'm keeping my eye open and I'm making sure that it's nice and blended. Now I've stopped, do you see here where I've stopped? At the furthest end of my eye, but when I bring my brush up, I know that it's not going out past any further than the end of my brow. So here we are, I've created that nice, soft depth of tone, and I've blended all into my crease. So you can see the color isn't on the actual eyelid, it's really just blended into the crease with an emphasis towards the outer half of my eye, which is from my arch to the tail. There we go. Now, I want you to put down your brush for your powder shadows. And I want you to find a black or dark brown gel liner, eye pencil, anything that you would use to line your eyes. You could even go for a color right now, but because I'm showing you some of the basics, I'm gonna use a black ink gel liner with an ultra fine eyeliner brush. You see that little tip? And I'm gonna line my eyes. Now I think over the years, being rushed, being a working mom, doing my makeup on the train, I've let go of trying to do a perfect line for most of my eye looks. So I've got a whole chunk, do you see that? Of gel liner on my brush and I'm going up under my lash line. 
For those of you that are thinking, oh my gosh, that looks so freaking scary. There is no freaking way. I want you to try this. I want you to take your chin, put yourself, put your chin back as if you're going to shove your chin and put it. Oh, that's a really pretty. Sorry, guys. You're going to put your chin onto the mirror. I want you to rest your hand on your chin and just drag the brush along the base of your eyelashes. And you guess what? You've just done your waterline. You've just done a perfect double lining in your lash. Now, this is something I do. See that? I'm just tugging and pulling. And I'm going to bring the liner. And I think that's just, I'm tugging and pulling gently on my eyelid because my skin is getting thinner around my eyes. So I find that when I pull on the skin gently, it just helps to keep it nice and taut. And I can do a nice long line. Now you can see, I'm not worrying about it being perfect, the shape. I'm not making sure it's too, um, smooth. What I am making sure I'm doing is that I'm getting a lot of product right into the root of the lash. For those of you who already have really dark lashes, you're super lucky. For me, I barely have any lashes. I grow them myself. I don't have a green thumb. I do have a good lash thumb. Okay. So anyway, back to the uh, black ink liner. I am making sure that there is so much black ink liner that there is no space between the liner and the lashes. See that? It's really, really, really black. Now, for those of you that are scared of putting liner underneath, you could just do the top and stop there. I'm going a little bit more bold because it is holiday season, and I'm going in the inner part of my eye. Those of you who will not go in the inner rim of your eye if you're super afraid of trendy eye looks, or if you have really petite eyes, I want you to not rim the inside of your eyes because that's gonna close your eye up. I have huge, like, sad cow eyes, as I call them. So I am actually okay to rim the inner part of my eye. And I'm now going to take color, the whatever's left of my black ink liner, and run it along the bottom lash line. So for anybody who has any shape eye, you can take a little bit of this black ink liner, whatever's left on the brush, and run it along your lower lash line. So now I've got a like bumpy, kind of messy black ink liner. Again, you could do this with a brown, a soft brown, a dark gray, you could go green, blues, violets, but if you're not sure what to do for color, always go with a black lash line. I've been throwing in pops of color, and this is where, again, I've done a warm color in my crease, and I'm, going into the scary blue, I found this blue shadow and I couldn't resist because I have blue eyes. I have learned over the years that when you have blue eyes, actually a little pop of blue will make your eyes look bluer. If you have brown eyes, I want you to find a soft, shimmery, burnt, sugary, bronzed color. If you have green eyes, find a minty green shadow. You could even play with purple at this point, a soft lilac pastel color. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little bit of that colored eyeshadow, and I'm using the Smoky Eyeliner Brush by Bobbi Brown, and I'm doing a technique which is called double lining, which is a really fancy name for smudge the heck out of your liner. So I am now taking this sterling shadow, and I am smudging it over the top of my black ink gel liner, literally smudging. And my pressure is quite bold and quite strong. Now I'm sweeping the color back and forth, back and forth up the eyelid so that it blends with the crease color. So this is where you're getting that real transition of warm into cool. So pretty. Now, underneath, you never wanna have a solid line. So I'm in fact, I've gone back in and I'm getting a little bit more of that sterling blue shade. And I'm going to double line underneath my eyes as well. Just taking the color, swishing it gently over the liner that I have on the bottom of the eye. So pretty. Okay, when you get something in your eye, 
<laughs> just try and blank it out. Don't panic because a lot of times a little bit of shadow will just fall out. I'm now going back with my brush. I didn't put any more color on that angled eyeshadow brush with which has probably some of that birch shadow left over and I'm just blending the color together. Super easy, super pretty, and I'm making sure that the two shapes match. I'm also making sure that the color comes up high enough on the brow bone. So for those of you who have a lot of hangover, as I like to call it, I know it's not the fun kind of hangover, but it's there. We want to make sure that you're bringing up enough color up high onto the brow bone. So that's where this angled eyeshadow brush, do you see how it's slanted and it points downwards? I want you to take that longer end, put it into your crease and blend back and forth. And the top shorter half of the brush will make sure that the color comes beautifully up onto the brow bone. And that way you're going to help your eye appear to be bigger, lifted, and more open. If you're worried about the color looking stripy on your brow bone, always have a blank brush on hand. And by blank, I mean a brush that has no color. And what you're going to do is you're just going to sweep back and forth. I know I've shared this with you in a bunch of my other videos, but I can't emphasize enough three key words, blend, blend, and blend. So I'm now blending back and forth and I have a beautiful shaped eye. You can see the difference without mascara, especially for us out there who have blonde or wimpy lashes. I am using, it's called Lash Glamour Extreme Mascara. This mascara is length like you wouldn't believe. And when you put on your mascara, no matter what formula you're obsessed with, I want you to think about pressing the mascara barrel right to the root of the lash and then zigzagging it up. Right up. I'm so sorry. You're like so looking right at my nose right now and zigzagging up. So press and zigzag up. I want you to apply at least two, if not three, if not four coats of mascara because you want your boldness of your lashes to really match that sultry eye look. So here we've taken a warm shadow color, we've taken a colorful or cool shadow color, we've taken a black liner, with a primed eyelid base. And here we've created a sultry, soft, smoky eye look. And I'm gonna finish it off very quickly for you with your must have, I don't ever wanna see you leave or show off your smoky eye without correctors, concealers, under eye brightness. You, if you're afraid of all the corrector, concealer, brightness, and the, you know, it feels like it's too much, then, can you hear me rustling around down here? I have to show you how much makeup I have down here one day. I want you to grab this Instant Full Cover Concealer and blow out, yes, don't be afraid. I want you to blow out your under eye because a gorgeous smoky eye is only showcased and shown when it is met with a flawless, gorgeous, bright and lifted under eye. I will finish my look, I'll post the final visual. These are the how to's, some tips and tricks that I've learned over the years, being a working makeup artist in New York City, being a mom, doing makeup on the go, keeping it easy, but always wanting to look glamorous and gorgeous for my night out tonight for holiday. Huge hugs, huge kisses. Do you see how that concealer just made it? I will finish my face and I'll post the final look. And this is how you do soft, smoky, sultry, little play on color, keeping it super simple. Mwah, mwah, huge hugs. Bye.